there. I thought I would share a few tidbits of information about attending a scent work trial that you might not know, especially if you're new to it. So in a scent work trial, you get qualifying legs and you need three legs to get a title in that element. So you need three qualifying ribbons and you can get these um, the same weekend, you can get them over multiple weekends. Most clubs offer two trials of the same element each day. So you need three of these in order to get a title. And so each of these would equal a leg. What's really neat is the club will also print off a label to show you what you did. So what your placement was, if there's any faults, and it's nice to keep as a little keepsake and keep it with your ribbon. I'll show you in a moment how I keep my ribbons together so that you can have an idea of how to store all your ribbons as well. If you also get a placement, meaning first through fourth, you may also get another kind of ribbon or a rosette. This specific club did ribbons, so they have different colors for each placement. And again, you can put those stickers on the back so you remember what you got them for. You will also get a sheet that tells you about the search. So this is a duplicate that shows you your time and everything, if there's any notes. So it's great to have these available as well. And you can pick those up from the secretary once they're done processing them. I also recommend having some sort of little cheat sheet. One of our students created this, which was amazing, that has all of the information you need to keep track of because I can't remember what they did and when. So you can see here that three legs equals a title and it tells you what that title is and what letters you'll have and then you can also do what they call elite. So if you get 10 qualifying scores in that specific element, then you get an elite title as well. So you can see I've put my dates here as to when Norby got those qualifying legs. And then you can see when you got the qualifying title. So to get the Scentwork Novice title, I had to get container, I had to get interior, I had to get exterior and I had to get buried. All of those had to have full titles in order to get the SWN or the Scentwork Novice title. Now, if you are doing handler discrimination, there is a section down here that the student put. So this is something you could make up yourself or keep it in a journal so you can keep everything straight. The final thing I wanted to share with you is how I keep things organized. So I just use a binder, just simple binder. I put my sheets in here. I probably could be more organized with these by putting them in sheet protectors, which is what I do with this. So I put this in this first sheet protector and that way I can glance at it and see what I need. And then the really cool part, same student who made the wonderful form, so thank you, Jeannie. But you also can get these amazing little, they're for swimmers, I guess they get ribbons. So you can buy these, I actually need to order more, which is a great thing, because I have more ribbons to put in here, but you can just slide them in, and then you can keep track of your ribbons this way, your qualifying as well as your placement ribbons, if they do ribbons, so I need to get some more. I'll order that. Um, and there you go, that's how you can keep it organized. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any questions about AKC Scentwork Trials, please, please, please don't hesitate to reach out to us or post a comment.